Hey members of the foundation, um, I'm Sue Gabrielson, your new director of the Cloud Forest School and I'm sitting in front of a view that I think most of you would find very familiar. Um, it's a beautiful day in Costa Rica. Um, I also want to bring your attention to um, all of the roofs, not something that people usually talk about, but we've just finished an amazing project uh, brought to you in part by amazing donations. Uh, of painting every roof um, at the Creativa. And you will see in a few minutes that there's quite a huge difference in what the place looks like now and before. So we're gonna do a little tour of some of the other things that we've been, been working on as well. Let's go. Meet Oliver. When we arrived at the CEC, the grass was as high as the roofs. So Oliver has been working hard to cut the grass, but it's not been enough. And so also thanks to generous donations, we have reclaimed the campus from the forest that was encroaching. But Oliver's gonna be a friend to students. He also has a, he already has a favorite student who reads to him in both Spanish and English. So. Oliver is part of our new Create Creativa family that will welcome students back on August 16th. Okay, equally as sexy as new roofs and cutting the grass is a brand new septic drain for the house. <laughs> it hasn't worked for years and we've been able to fix it and replace it and now we can pee in peace. And check out the mural. It was fabulous when Carla and her team of students started it and it needs a lot of renovation and slowly but surely it's coming back to life. All right, off to Kalehi. Here's um, the Colegio, um, all fixed up as well. We'll open on August 16th, pre-K through sixth grade. But if the pandemic persists in the way it is in Costa Rica, it's likely we'll have to go back to school in a different way. And in order to help the, the friend school in Monteverde, we will rent this space to them so that they can um, spread out their high school classes and, and everyone can go back to school. In, in some form or another. So it's a win-win situation for all of us since we probably don't need this space uh, for our students this year. But I can report that right now we have 50 students. I think we have eight extranjeros and uh, an amazing group of kids who are anxious to come back to school. We are fully staffed now with an amazing team of teachers. We have plans for excellent professional development in collaboration with an organization in the United States, MEP, and a private organization in Costa Rica, and we are ready to go. Some of you may not have been back um, to Costa Rica for some time and haven't had a chance to see the synthetic concha that was put in before the pandemic struck. It was a huge investment and what an amazing place that we have. And we hope that really soon there will be students playing football. We're connecting with the community as always and what may look like a mess is a bunch of giant sacks full of leaves. And so there's an amazing project in Monteverde to collect organic material and turn it into compost and fertilizer. And so we are providing the leaves. What could be a better situation? Um, we have plenty of leaves for the, for the town um, and the compost project to collect. And so it, again, it's a win-win situation. The campus was abandoned for over a year. Not only did the grass grow up, but all the trees that were prepared for reforestation grew together. But we asked the students from MFS who spent some of their year on the campus of the CEC to help us. And so the 
the, the graduating class of sixth grade and 11th and 12th graders came and we planted almost a hundred trees in the last couple of months and saved all the saplings that had been prepared over a year ago. So uh, most of the time now, you can find me here in the office working hard. I'm looking at our matricula for the year. We have uh, 48 students registered. We have nine extranjeros. We've been able to give 27 families becas and uh, registration is, is happening and contracts are being signed. I wanna say thank you to all of you who have already made donations and who have supported the school this year and of course throughout the many years that the Creativa has been here. It's going to be great and I look forward to meeting you all in person someday and if you have any questions just reach out and I'm happy to be in touch.